Good morning, brothers and sisters. Doug White, down here in Alabama, same day. I'm home now and at my desk. And uh, <clears throat> I wanted to continue on this uh, part two of uh, peace and love to everybody. <laughs> Make sure I say that. And uh, hope everybody's doing good this afternoon. I want to address some things, a couple of things when I get started because I ain't got 15 minutes. Uh, the names are changed to protect the innocent and the sequence of events are uh, not in the same order to protect the innocent. So I wanted to say that before I even get started. And address this thing with uh, this. Yes, I know Paul said it and uh, <laughs> not Jesus said uh, that uh, What's the, what was the statement I said? I know Paul said that. <laughs> In my mind, it was Paul. But like I say, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit inspired it. The Spirit of Christ inspired it. So, you know, you know I think you're grasping that somebody's grasping at straws uh, to uh, uh, debunk all, you know, the Spirit of Truth, I believe, is coming over on the, uh, on the broadcasting. And then somebody's grasping grasping at straws to uh, uh, try to debunk, you know. But anyway, I don't want to take up the whole thing. Uh, take all you know, this. Uh, but anyway, where was I at? No, I, again, I said Paul uh, said uh, stand. Paul said, "Stand ye fast in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free." So uh, there you are. Paul said it. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, it is being a little picky. You know how it is. You misspeak all the time <laughs> on this. I mean, I'm going to misspell things and misspeak, but I believe that you can get an idea of what I'm getting at. And uh, the spirit of the thing, I hope, comes over. Not the letter of the thing comes over. But anyway, I want to get to this thing that I left off on the other, the other thing. I said, uh, Neil Young said, I'm searching for a heart of gold, but I said, <laughs> but anyway, I have been searching for a heart of gold with a handful of people that were like-minded, you know, like me, including the flat earth and things like that. And I found them in spirit on the internet. You know, on the internet, there's a handful of people that are pretty close to the same uh, thinking as myself. But anyway, in uh they helped me out in once while. I sure appreciate it. But uh, no, uh, uh, the heart of gold, I've been searching for the heart of gold. In other words, uh, uh, but I'm getting old. <laughs> I forgot to live, I forgot to put that. And I'm getting old. And, you know, of course, we know Jesus Christ is the one we think we're looking at. He's, he's the perfect one. And we're all fallible men down here. And uh, myself, at the top of the list, fallible man. But anyway, let me go on a little bit further and see what else I left off on that other video that I wanted to say that I didn't get a chance to say. Uh, though the lady that I was talking about, this this uh, called himself a uh, man of God. Uh, he uh, his wife died shortly after that 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 uh, uh, Sunday. She died right after that. But anyway, thing and the whole, anyway, it's a big, anyway, I don't want to get, get too much on that except to say that uh, she died. I left that off on the other video and not very shortly after that uh, that he said that. And you know what he said? I, I'll repeat what he said. He said, I don't bury the dead on the Lord's day. And if you have to go back to the first video to, to check it out, he said, I don't bury, bury, bury the dead on the Lord's day. But have you ever wondered why in the New Testament? Some of y'all help me out there. I, uh, why in the New Testament uh, it didn't, didn't somebody just come out and say the day it was, you know? What day was it that we're supposed to, uh, that's binding for us to, to meet up, you know? And, and what day is it, you know? Why didn't he come out and make it specific? Why did they, why is it just say the Lord's day and everybody, uh, starts arguing about what day it was and then and who says it's sunday you know somebody that's studied that you know put put up a few comments and and, and tell me that i'm just asking a question uh 
Uh, no, I don't believe it. I believe that, uh, I don't believe there's a binding day. I believe it's all by grace. Every day is the Lord's day as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> he made everything, made all the days, so they're all his, in my view. And the Sabbath comes to him, he doesn't go to the Sabbath. He's Lord of the Sabbath. He's Lord over the Bible. He's Lord over the written word of God. He's Lord over everything. So he don't have to check with nobody. And what we do now is we talk with him. You know, my wife sometimes, she says, who are you talking to in there? <laughs> and I'll be in here talking to myself. But I'm, I'm really, I'll be talking to him, to God. She'll say, well, who are you talking to there? Uh, I think that... Uh, I think sane people talk to themselves, but they're really talking to God. But anyway, I, that's uh, another point I wanted to make. Uh, oh, yeah. Talking about the uh, this uh, uh, Sabbath, you know, Sunday. Let's just say Sunday. Well, I want to tell you something. My boy came in one day on a Sunday. They were, they were all out in the yard playing. They were just kids. And uh, he fell off this table up there, and he came in. He came in the house. This was not my. This was my youngest son. And all the other kids, the other kids were with him. And his arm was pointing straight up like that. He had broken his arm straight up like that. It, the whole fibula, both of them were broken. And uh, and uh, I was a little bit. Uh, religious at that time thought i was some kind of spiritual you know one of god's uh elites you know <laughs> commandos back then i used to be uh you know hard to live with but uh anyway she, his arm was like that you know what i did i threw him in the car put him put it on a pillow and kind of held it safe uh, the wife the whole family takes off down to opalaka to the hospital big hospital down there and all the time I was praying that somebody had not made, was not, uh, had, uh, was not keeping the Sabbath. I hope that they was down there at that hospital so they could take care of my little boy. Because my, my ox was in the ditch. And all these self-righteous people that, that, that believe there's some kind of binding, uh, a, a Sabbath, who knows what day it is. You know, I don't know. Somebody tell me. But uh, I don't believe there is one. I believe he's Lord over all of them, in my view. Yeah. And then this same uh, preacher, so-called preacher, one of his uh, children had to go, had, had to miss, uh, had to miss one of his, uh, uh, one of his sermons that, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a sermon. One of the, one of his, uh, uh, mm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't even know what to call it, but she didn't make it either. So he was always pestering folks, you know, if they ever missed, you know, he, oh gosh, that was the worst thing in the world, you know. Oh, but anyway, uh, he was a, a, a legalist or whatever you want to call it. And he, he thought he was, uh, turned out he, he was, well, I tell you what, uh, to tell you the truth, not putting this all in sequence, gosh, it's already nine minutes. Oh, let me tell you this story. But the, but this uh, man that called himself a preacher, I was, I was in the car with him one day. I was helping him out do, to do something. And he started talking to him. He said, you know what? He said, you know what? This uh, church up in North Alabama, it split up because there were some people there that, uh, it split because there were some people up there that, had this off the wall idea that uh had this off the wall idea that uh man hadn't went to the moon and then uh and then uh of course I sat over there and I said well, okay well, yeah well, I was going along with it at the time I wasn't completely sure about everything but I was starting I was starting to wake up he said uh he said uh I knew if 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 this this group that split up in North Alabama over this matter. He said, and also they believe that the earth is a snow globe or something like that. He was making fun of it, but really he gave me the idea. I saw later that it was, but he, anyway, he was making fun of it. He said, they just had this off the wall idea about this, you know, and he was letting me know. 
the, because I had kind of leaked out and I didn't believe the earth was in motion. At the time I was a, uh, uh, I was a, uh, what do you call it? A geocentrism. I knew the earth was not moving. I didn't know about the flat earth, but that gave me, uh, when he did that, I said, you know, this group, I want to find out who they are. But I, I never quite got the name. I couldn't find out, but they split off of this other church because God had revealed to them uh, that God had revealed to them that uh, the earth was flat and immovable in his word. And some, and they just had to go to, went their own different way. But I was interested in this group of people. <laughs> and that was the first, my first hint. And he, God used this whole heretic <laughs> to, uh, to show me uh, that the earth the one that said said that about his wife, you know, uh, that uh, I don't bury the dead. He used that person to uh, start waking me up. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, if this man, <laughs> if those people, I'm going to look into this because if he's again it, I'm going to get on the other side. I'm going to find out about it. Well, anyway, I got me up a nerve. Then I got up enough nerve to go in there uh, and mash that button which I was scared to do at first. I mashed the button that I wouldn't mash for a long time, a couple of years, and that was the flat earth button on, on, you know, on my, my uh, it was a flat top at the time. But I mashed that button, and here I am. But uh, now, uh, so there were some people up there that was persecuting. They just, uh, you know, it split off. They had to go the way that God was waking them up. God was showing some other people truth. And the people that went the way of truth, they had to part with these folks over here. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, this was up in North Alabama. That's my first uh, introduction to, uh, flat earth. So that got me, uh, fishing. And so I knew about, I knew it wasn't moving because of what I saw over there with Joshua, but I didn't know the shape. But now that woke me all the way up because that old, uh, heretic man, <laughs> uh, uh, God used him. So, uh, it's funny how God works, you know, but. Anyway, that's what happened in that little uh, incident. Yep, and uh, I hope I told it all clear enough, you know. That uh, and later on, his uh, this man's uh, one of his uh, his one of his daughters, you know, she had to miss church too. But he pester folks. They'd be old ladies that couldn't hardly walk, and they'd be in the hospital, and he'd pester them and everything. I was trying to get them there because. He was uh, serious about this Sabbath thing, you know. So, no, I don't believe that. I believe God has made us free. It got to the point where, you know, that old song, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Well, <laughs> it was like I was sad when they uh, said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Because, like you say, when you invoke the law, uh, out goes the joy. It's gone, say, And the gladness, say, But no. There's plenty of joy in in uh, in knowing that the God is has a sovereign God, a people He loves. It's the Bible is a love song to His people, and the people that can't see it aren't awake yet. It's kind of like flat Earth; they're just not awake yet. God hasn't revealed it to them, I don't guess. But God is a good shepherd. You know, He's the good shepherd. They got Him as the bad shepherd. Say, you know, what happened? What would happen if you went to your uh, left your kid at the daycare and then came back at the end of the day and he was gone. Would that be a good daycare? Uh -uh. He said, well, oh, we lost your kid. You know, we lost your uh, little child. I'm sorry. Would that be a good kid, a good daycare? No, brother, sister. God, Jesus is a good shepherd. He'll not lose one of all his sheep. That's the good news of the gospel. That's the glorious gospel. He's not going to lose one of us. But anyway, I filled up that little 15 minutes, but I'll put it out there, and uh, God bless everybody, and I probably left out something, and uh, I'll try to get it next time. God bless everybody.